Hey, it's Joe Fear from GetThriveCard.com. In this video, we're gonna break down a massive comparison chart we put together with a couple of other similar carts that are out there, and we broke this thing down in the most extensive list that you'll find anywhere. So we're gonna go over some of the main points here, some stuff that you probably haven't heard of before. We're gonna break it all down here in this video, and we'll link you over to that chart in a minute here too. So let's dig into it now. All right, so we went kind of crazy on this big, massive list, this comparison chart, and we worked closely with the Thrivecart uh, team over there to make sure that this was very, very accurate and that we had the, kind of the story from all fronts. So uh, the three carts that you're looking at here, obviously we're talking about Thrivecart, Sam Carts, and another one, and Pay Kickstart. Those are kind of like the biggies in the space right now. Uh, for online processing and also some of the other stuff that these carts allow you to do. So what we did is we really worked together with the Thrivecart team super closely to create this in a big cohesive list. And it kind of blew our mind actually once we did it because I mean, there's just, there's a lot more to this whole thing than we even thought about, you know, until we actually put it in a list like this. So I just wanted to go over kind of some of the, the main things you could see the comparables and the stuff that we use and the stuff that you might not be thinking about if you're considering uh, getting Thrivecart or if you were looking at some of these other options. I just wanted to break down some of these so you have a total clear picture. And again, in the video or, or below the video or somewhere around, you'll see a link that actually go to this comparison chart page so you can just dive deep into this whole thing yourself. And we'll reference this a lot more. So I just wanna kind of start at the top with integrations. So as we're going down the line, everything on the left here is Thrivecart, we have Samcart in the middle, and then Pay Kickstart. So on the left-hand side, uh, we have this list of all the different features kind of broken down by the big, uh, kind of the big topic or the, the category that they're in. And the big thing that stands out when we're looking at the integration section, just to start, is is the sheer amount of ways that you can have payment options in your cart. When we're looking at Thrivecart and compared to the others here, that's kind of a common question that we get is, you know, can you use this payment processor? Can I have the flexibility to do, uh, you know, Apple Pay, Google Pay, all these things that your customers might be used to using. The idea is to give them the right options to make that purchase. And every, you know, every customer, country, all of that stuff slightly different. So based off of the popularity and the most of, uh, you know, the kind of the people who have said, hey, we want this and we want that. Uh, you, we hear a lot of that. We talked to the Thrivecart team as well. So a lot of that stuff has been put inside of the actual platform for Thrivecart. So that's why you see things like Google Pay, uh, Apple Pay, and all a ton of different payment processing options that you can use for your carts. That's the cool thing is having flexibility for your payment options is key when you have a checkout cart. Again, you want no, no friction in that buying process. The idea is to give what the customers want and that's, a, uh, for one, the biggest thing is a big, uh, trustworthy, kind of secure payment processing method. So that's what all these integrations really help you doing. So if we go down here, obviously I'm gonna, admit, I'm gonna skip a lot of this stuff. There's a ton of detail in here. Uh, but for sales enhancers, so this is, there's a ton of different things here. Some of the big things that we use all the time are, you know, the subscription pricing. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can do trials, uh, which are really cool. And then if you get down in here, you get into the different cart options. You can see it's fairly comparable to, um, you know, some of these other ones, pay kickstart lax and some of these different ways that you can actually use rules and behaviors uh, for your pricing. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do in Thrivecart uh, when it comes to your pricing. So really, at the end of the day, it's the options that you have available in Thrivecart are really cool because you have a lot of flexibility. You have a lot of options in general to do things like all the different uh, different cart styles, the different checkout styles. There are more coming, by the way. So it's only gonna get better. Uh, not gonna let the cat out of the bag yet in this video, but there are some massive updates coming in the, uh, in the customizable checkout area realm of things. Uh, but you can see that there's things like the pop-up checkout, the embeddable checkouts, uh, the two-steppers. This is really good for collecting information, so gathering personal information before the payment. 
uh, so you can actually follow up if they leave your cart. That's abandoned cart. And then some of the cool stuff that we also like are the different behavioral rules that you're allowed to use with Thrivecart. So any things like event-based behaviors allow you to change what can be shown on the checkout or in the upsell process. Same with location. You can actually modify what is shown on these checkout pages based on where your customers are located. That's actually really cool and it allows you, again, to be flexible to what your customers are expecting. And, and it just allows you to convert a lot better with your stuff. Now moving on down here, Coupons. Coupons are super, super, super cool. You can do a lot with these things. So in general, uh, you know, Thrivecart's spent a lot of time dialing in the coupons and there's a lot of ways to do it. You can use it for, you know, just the standard way to discount things, but you can also, there's all these different options. You can do free shipping based off of specific coupons uh, is a cool one. All the affiliate stuff that you could do with coupons are really cool. That's how we've used it. You can trigger all these different automations, these behavioral rules based off of a specific coupon. And then lastly, you can also make a URL. So let's say that you don't want to actually direct people to a checkout page and say, uh, hey, plug in this coupon code in the box, and then you're hoping that they do that. Uh, you know, you can actually just link them directly to a checkout page with the coupon code appended to the top so the discount is automatically applied. That usually just makes a lot less customer service, a lot less back and forth. So people are just, you know, you can make a, you can even mask it in a different link, a pretty link, so it matches your, your domain. Uh, anything like that you can actually do with coupons and automate a lot of stuff. You can automate a lot of the things you see here with just simple, uh, you know, creations of these coupons. So now when you get into the physical product features, that's where this thing goes crazy. So. Thrivecart is enhancing the physical product space so much with this type of uh, checkout cart and all the different options that you see here. And the big things are integrations. If you look at that, um, compared to the other guys over here, they really don't integrate with much of anything. And that is the key thing that you really wanna do is if you are deciding to add Thrivecart and you're already selling physical products, let's just say that you're already doing something on Shopify. Uh, or even Printful. We do a lot of t-shirts and things like that with Printful. Now you can use Thrivecard to actually take the order, so take the money in, and then you can automate a lot of the fulfillment or all of the fulfillment with the direct integrations that Thrivecard allows you to have. And there's a ton of different variables you can do, and the beauty is that it's all done inside of Thrivecart and it seamlessly passes over to all these other, uh, these other assets or resources that you might already be using to fulfill your physical products or to manage the inventory over there. So that's something that you gotta think, you know, if you have physical products going already, a lot of folks on Shopify will go to Thrivecart, for instance, to sell their best selling products or the ones that make them the most money, the most profit. Because with Thrivecart, you know, you have this focused uh, uh, checkout page. So you're actually able to harp on the benefits a little further than you would uh, if there's a big old cart in a big old uh, shopping area where, you know, nothing's really focused on a single product. You can really enhance sales if you use Thrivecart and package that up with some good uh, benefits and whatnot to buy that product. Point being, Thrivecart makes it super simple to sell the physical products if that's something you do or if something you're wanting to add in. This allows you to do a lot of stuff and be very flexible. Again, with those integrations, it's super important. So affiliate marketing. If you have a product that sells really well itself, well, you probably wanna get affiliates on board to actually help you out as well. Good thing with Thrivecart is that you have everything you need here. It's a full affiliate center, full affiliate management. You have all the links, you have assets, you have all these different ways that you can look at stats and customized uh, you know, commissions, things like that. Do the payouts automatically or manual or some other options. Lots of cool stuff. It's, it's kind of crazy. You can see this is actually one of the longer sections is affiliate, uh, is the affiliate center. We use it all the time. The thing that we love the most about it is that it's just easy. The management system as a whole is just very simple to kind of deal with. And it allows you to do a lot of cool things to manage your affiliates or even import affiliates in. A lot of, a lot of folks and a lot of different platforms don't allow you to do that quickly 
Well, you can with Thrivecart. That is really cool. It's a really big time saver and you can manage all of your affiliate relations and interactions, all that stuff right inside of here. So very, very simple. Almost done with this. I just wanna go a little quick. The JV contracts uh, and the partner contracts. This is something that some folks don't understand and, uh, and we're gonna make uh, more videos on this as well. Is the idea now you can partner with anyone. And the idea is, is you can actually create these contact, uh, contracts within Thrivecart and essentially create a product or partner on a product, not as an affiliate with someone else, but also, as, but like an equal partner or a percentage partner. So basically you create these contracts right there within Thrivecart and say, for instance, you know, there's a hundred dollar product you're selling with a partner of yours. Maybe they're just doing customer service and some other, you know, community management and they're getting 20% of all the sales. Well, now you can create these contracts inside of Thrivecart and say, okay, 20% goes to Jim over here. Every sale that happens, well, then $20 is going to get kicked over Jim's way. And then the rest of the money will go to you or maybe some other partners that you have uh, in contract through Thrivecart. That's what's cool. You can automate a lot of this stuff. And there's obviously a lot of options, behavioral rules uh, that you can do with these JV and partner contracts. Very cool, has a ton going on, and you can see it's not really something that the others offer. Uh, this last one, Pay Kickstart, offers some very basic stuff, but again, it's, it's so basic where you don't have all these options that you would come to expect. It's very similar to the affiliate management center, uh, yeah, the, the center over here. You get a lot of different features and a lot of flexibility to actually make uh, a successful relationship with your partners and JVs if you wanna go into uh, business together. You could do that with Thrivecart. Now, Dunning. Dunning is something that uh, got released kind of recently at the timing of this video, and you could see they went big. So Thrivecart went big, and this is essentially you're trying to recoup revenue from subscriptions. That is one of the biggest reasons why uh, you know there's lost revenue with subscriptions is that there's no Dunning attached. Those are all the automatic follow-ups, the behavioral rules, and different billing things that just happen to recoup that money and keep a customer happy. And the idea is to, is to kind of automate a lot of that stuff so you don't have to manually follow up with folks and then get them to rebuy or re-enter because that's just a really big pain and most likely it's not going to work out that well. So Thrivecart, you can see, just goes crazy with that. The other guys don't really do it so well. There's some basic functionality. But Thrivecart made sure that doing this, they're gonna do it right. And they're gonna give you all the options. Sorry, I think I just hit the microphone. <laughs> Got a little excited there. Uh, now going down here, I'm just gonna read them kind of fast. Full tax support, any of the VAT stuff, any stuff that's uh, just kind of in local areas, Thrivecart makes sure to be very location dependent and give you all the tax support that you possibly need for uh, selling your products online. Now the dedicated customer hub. This is one that's really cool. So whenever a customer purchases, they have the option to update all their billing info, their any subscriptions, uh, personal information. You can actually make it branded to your customer, uh, to your actual company, a whole bunch of other cool things. The customer hub will save you a ton of money and a ton of time in terms of customer service and the back and forth kind of stuff. You can make it very clear to your customers that they have the flexibility and then you, you, as a product owner, also have the flexibility to turn off and on some of these things. Like, you know, if they can cancel a subscription, you can make sure that they don't automatically just do it themselves, but they can contact you. But there are certain things that you can allow them to do, like updating their information, making sure you don't have to do that manually. It's really cool. So getting into this, the admin and settings, and then we'll finalize it with the GDPR at the end. The cool thing with Thrivecart is that you have a lot of flexibility to uh, to manage your users, to keep your account secure. That's a big thing online these days, hackers and, and fishers and all these different things with passwords. It gets really crazy. I've been hacked many times, a lot of stuff stolen online. Well, now you have two-factor authentication with Thrivecart and a whole bunch of other ways to keep it secure. And that is super important if all your, you know, if a bunch of billing information, you know your transactions, all your stats, your JV relationships, all this stuff is managed inside of Thrivecart. You want to lock that sucker down. So we got you back there. Thrivecart takes care of you. And you see the other guys kind of sprinkle in some of those options here. 
But overall, just settings in general to manage the software's thrive cart uh, and all these other things like, you know, all your different notifications, there's different uh, C name support. So that's actually uh, using Thrivecart's ability to have the checkout, but you can mask it, C name it basically with your own domain. You have the ability to make it look seamless, even though Thrivecart is hosted on its own secure uh, servers and platform. A ton of other features here. You can get into it yourself. And then the GDPR functionality is just untouched. And this is a massive thing. It came out last year. There's still questions about it all the time. Well, Thrivecart has your back when it comes to GDPR and make sure that you are safe and that you have all the, the boxes ticked that are legally required of you because this stuff changes all the time. And Thrivecart makes sure to stay on top of that so you don't have to. It's just one less thing you have to do. And you can see the other uh, competing checkout platforms don't address that at all. So Thrivecart takes care of you there and it's that's pretty much it. So it's uh, at the time of this recording, you can see the pricing down below. Of course, this chart will change depending on the updates that Thrivecart has and also the other platforms. The thing is we are working with partners to make sure this gets uh, this is kept updated all the time so it's the most accurate information you can find. A lot of com comparison charts don't really stay up with that. So that's something that we're trying to do our best here. And you can see the pricing on the bottom based off of all the comparable features. You can see the winner by the price and by the features, definitely Thrivecart in this case. So uh, take an action, you know, dig, dig in deeper in the comparison chart if you wish. There's links uh, below or somewhere around on this page. And definitely check out getthrivecart.com to dig in deeper and you'll find a link in a way to actually go get Thrivecart for yourself if you don't have it already. And if you do have it, then, you know, study this list and see and see the different things that you probably don't know about yet because stuff is getting added all the time inside of Thrivecart and it's really cool. So sign up if you don't have it, getthrivecart.com. You'll get a ton of extra bonuses. We add stuff all the day, uh, all the time and uh, and some cool templates. We just released a one page template that you can actually get and uh, that's another additional way you can sell in a different format. You'll have to see it for yourself. We have some videos on that as well. So go to getthrivecart.com. We'll take care of you there. Thank you very much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.